Good day students and prospective students. Welcome to the School of Security, Diplomacy and Peace Studies. The School of Security, Diplomacy and Peace Studies, or SDPS as we abbreviate it, is one among the 19 schools at Kenyatta University. It was established in the year 2015. The school, like all other schools at Kenyatta University, falls under the academic division, which is headed by the deputy vice chancellor academic and deputized by the registrar academic. The school is headed by a dean who is studying in front of you or in front of your screen, and her name is Professor Lucy Minor. The school has two departments headed by chairpersons of department. The first department under the School of Security, Diplomacy and Peace Studies is the Department of International Relations, Conflict and Strategic Studies or the IRCSS as we abbreviate it and it is headed by Dr. Felistas Kinyajui. The second department is the Department of Security and Correctional Sciences and it is headed by Dr. Cyprian Kavivia. Our vision statement. The vision of the School of Security, Diplomacy and Peace Studies is that we aspire to be a center of excellence in training, in research, professionalism, and dissemination of knowledge and skills in the areas of security, conflict and peace studies, corrections, and international relations. Our mission statement is to equip and build capacities in learners towards uh, fostering peace in our society and maintaining sound security governance and practice and application of principles of international relations in common and diplomatic practice by providing highly qualified and skilled personnel for all relevant agencies, both in the private and public sector, as well as the civil society sector. Our goal is to nurture and enhance relevant knowledge capacities and use, competencies and competitiveness in an increasingly complex and dynamic society for peaceful and secure environments in line with the world's best practices. We have several strategic objectives. Number one, to educate and train personnel in the broad areas of security, conflict and peace studies, corrections and international relations in collaboration with other relevant institutions. Secondly, to promote research, acquisition and dissemination of knowledge in security, conflict and peace studies, corrections and international relations as well as diplomacy. Thirdly, to strengthen an intellectual orientation in security, conflict and peace studies and international relations. Also, we exist to promote good governance and the rule of law in the management of security, conflict management, and in managing international relations wherever they apply. To promote professionalism and ethical approaches in the practices of security, military and conflict management, corrections, and in diplomatic practice. And lastly, to provide resources for the study of security, conflict and peace studies, and international relations. So in a nutshell, those are our strategic objectives. Our specialty and branding, what makes us unique? The school offers unique programs in the area of security, in the area of conflict and peace studies, as well as corrections and international relations. The school niche lies in our strive to respond to the emerging security training demands in our country and beyond, 
and the need for professional specializations among players, such as the core security players in Kenya, the Kenya Defense Forces, the National Police Service, and the Kenya Prisons Service. Our programs are thus tailored to meet the practical needs of our society and are always designed in collaboration with consumers and clients and are, are informed by research. Our dynamic and proactive approach in designing and reviewing our programs puts us at the forefront in meeting market demands as well as our clients' expectations and needs. The programs developed by uh, the, the school, some of them are developed on demand by clients such as the Kenya Defense Forces and are therefore restricted by nature but most programs that we offer at the SDPS admit a wide variety of prospective students with an interest in the areas already identified. So the school's academic programs and admission requirements. The school has programs spanning the entire levels of learning, beginning from the certificate level, going to the diploma level, the degree level or undergraduate level, master's level, as well as PhD levels. The entry requirements. In general terms, we apply the minimum requirements for entry into the university. However, some programs have additional requirements such as subject cluster areas and or grade attained at previous level of learning. In addition, entry into all our postgraduate programs require one to have covered certain subjects at undergraduate level. In general, therefore, the minimum common university regulations for entry into the School of Security, Diplomacy and Peace Studies are as follows. For bachelor level courses, we require one to have a minimum of C plus at KCSE level or equivalent. For master's level in general, we require one to have attained an upper second class honors bachelor's degree in the relevant area of training. We also consider a lower second class degree, but the applicant must have at least two years of relevant working experience in addition to the bachelor's degree. For PhD level, our general requirement for entry is a master's degree in a relevant area of choice. Our entry requirements uh, and qualifications that are specific to each program are specified in detail under each academic program that we offer. What are the academic programs that we offer at the School of Security, Diplomacy and Peace Studies? At the certificate level, we have one program that is the Certificate in Security and Correctional Science. And this program is offered only to the Kenya prisons staff only. At diploma level, we have three diploma programs and the duration of learning is two academic years. The first diploma program is the Diploma in Security Management and Police Studies. This is a program that is open to all prospective students. Uh, we also have the Diploma in Security and Correctional Science. This is a program that is restricted to the Kenya Prison Service staff only. And we have the Diploma in Leadership and Security Management. At the undergraduate level or bachelor's level, we have three uh, running bachelor's program. The duration of learning is four years. We have number one, the Bachelor of Science in Military and Security Studies, which is a restricted program offered to the Kenya Defense Forces staff only. Then we have the Bachelor of Security Management and Policing Studies. This is a program that is open to all prospective uh, students 
who desire to study the area. And then we have an upcoming uh, program that will be soon on offer, and that is the Bachelor of International Relations and Diplomacy. At the master's level, we have about five uh, academic programs. The duration of learning is two academic years. Number one, we have the Master of Security Management and Police Studies. Uh, that is an open program. We have a Master of Arts in Leadership and Security Management. We also have a Master of Science in Security Strategic Studies, which is offered only to the Kenya Defense Forces. And then we have a Master of Arts in International Relations and Diplomacy. And we also have a Master of Arts in Conflict and Peace Studies. Among the postgraduate diploma courses that we offer, we have one program, which is a postgraduate diploma in security and correctional science. This is a program offered to the Kenya Prison Service staff only, and it takes a duration of two academic years. At the PhD level or doctoral level, we have three programs on offer at the school. The first program is a PhD in Security Studies. It is open to students that qualify uh, at the master's level. We have a PhD in Conflict and Peace Studies, and we have a PhD in International Relations and Diplomacy. The PhD programs at the school take uh, a minimum of three academic years. Prospective students need to also understand the concept of core and elective units. Each program that we offer at the School of Security, Diplomacy and Peace Studies has core and elective units uh, that a student is expected to take in order to complete their program. Core units are mandatory or compulsory units that you must study to meet the requirements of your program and area of specialization. They are units specific to your course and are appropriately listed in the program. As you register for your units under your chosen program, you will be clearly guided on those units that are ident identified as core units. The elective units are those units of study that you can select to study from a list of options within your program or department, allowing you to study topics that interest you. You might choose an elective because it complements or builds upon the content you are learning in your course. It may be that you simply have an interest in having or acquiring more knowledge in that area. So at that point, you are free to make your choice. Generally, for bachelor level programs, the first and second year or the first and second level, all the units are core. But at the third and fourth levels of learning or third and fourth year, you have a leeway to select from among units listed as electives to study alongside the core units listed under each specific semester. And then uh, prospective students also need to understand what we call university or school common units. So apart from the core and elective units that I've highlighted, we also have university common units that a student must undertake to meet the university and school requirements for their program. These units are, are designed to be taken by students across all undergraduate programs in the university. They are units drawn from specific disciplines, but their knowledge is considered pertinent and key for all undergraduate students, irrespective of the course they are undertaking. So these are uh, units that are shared across different schools and departments. The following are the university common units that a student at the School of Security, Diplomacy and Peace Studies are, are allowed to take. We have UCU uh, 1, 
100, that is communication skills. We have UCU or University Common Unit 101, that is development studies. And we have UCU 103, which is critical and creative thinking. So students of the school can choose from among those three as they meet their other program requirements. We also have for the postgraduate level, that is master's and PhD levels, we have specific, specific specializations in the School of Security, Diplomacy and Peace Studies. And under the first department, which is the International Relations, Conflict and Strategic Studies, we have uh, various specializations under the Conflict and Peace Studies postgraduate programs. We have one, Resource and Conflict Management. We have two, Collective Security System. We have three, Global Governance and Conflict. We have four, Border Security. We have five, Terrorism and Counterterrorism. We have six, Global Governance and Peace Studies. And we have seven, International Conflict Management. So if you are desirous of uh, undertaking a master's or a PhD course at the School of Security, Diplomacy and Peace Studies, you have all those seven areas to pick from under the stream of conflict and peace studies. If you want to study international relations and diplomacy, which is offered under the same department of international relations, conflict and strategic studies, then you have a choice between one, international law and international relations. You can choose to take uh, diplomacy and international re relations as a specialization. You can also specialize in international criminal justice, in international political economy, in international studies and diplomacy. You can specialize in international environmental politics. You can specialize in international organizations and you can also specialize in international trade among many other areas. Under the Department of Security and Correctional Science, if you are desirous of undertaking a master's or a PhD in security studies, you may specialize in one, physical and asset security. You can specialize in human security, in personal security, in environmental security, in information and communi communication security. You can specialize in national and global security, in community and private security. You can specialize in crime, penology, and corrections, or you can also specialize in policing among other areas. What are the career prospects for students at the School of Security, Diplomacy, and Peace Studies? And having gone through some of the areas of specialization and the programs that we offer, you will see that we have a number of areas that you can specialize in and be able to pick a career for yourself. So the programs at the School of Security, Diplomacy and Peace Studies provide great, great insights into the areas of conflict, in the areas of of uh, security studies, in the areas of foreign affairs, in public policy areas, in international development areas, in the operatives of the social system, such as how the social system operates in, with respect to law, with respect to economics, with respect to politics and governance, and how they intersect with one another and with security and conflict. So you could uh, easily see uh, areas uh, of career that uh, you can pick for yourself at the national, at the regional, and also at the global levels. Therefore, the school programs offer broad career prospects in various sectors and work arenas, such as the security sector, uh, the non-governmental organization sector, refugee uh, sector, institutes of peace, humanitarian and relief services sector, civil service sector, diplomatic service sector, the foreign service sector, 
community service sector, defense department sector, international criminal tribunal sector, human rights organization sector, peacekeeping organization sector, among very many others. And graduates for the, from the school can work as, for instance, security managers and advisors, as diplomats, as lobbyists, as political analysts, they can work as intelligence officers, they can work as international aid or development workers, they can work as poli uh, policy makers, as researchers, as peace mediators, as conflict resolution officers, as human rights officers, as project officers in relevant areas, and in many other related fields of work. The teaching staff at the School of uh, Security, Diplomacy and Peace Studies. We, we have a host of well-qualified uh, staff at the School of Security, Diplomacy and Peace Studies. And uh, we have uh, different specializations among the core staff at the school. And uh, I will mention a few of the school uh, staff. We have uh, myself as Professor Lucy Maina, uh, and I have a PhD from the area of sociology. We have Dr. Kenyajui Feristas, who has a PhD in the area of humanities. We have Dr. Cyprian Kavivia, he has a PhD in the area of sociology and religion. We have uh, Dr. Francis Mulu, who has uh, a PhD in the area of armed conflict. We have Dr. Bernard Moya, he has a, a PhD in the area of sociology. We have Dr. Boniface Moka, who has a PhD in the area of conflict studies, and many, many other areas uh, that our staff at the School of Security have uh, specialized in, and they will guide you as you choose your uh, area of study and as you study uh, they will be with you to support your learning all the way to the end and in total the school of security diplomacy and peace studies has 18 members of staff or lecturers who will be ready and willing to guide your study as you embark on this very important uh, area other important information uh, for you to know is that we have uh, certain services that we offer at the school, just like any other school. We have um, examination services that we offer, and therefore we have an examination coordinator or several examination coordinators at the school. We have the school examination coordinator, uh, who is Dr. Bernard Muya. Uh, we have the Depart Department of International Relations, uh, Conflict and Strategic Studies Examination Coordinator, who is Dr. Leah Balasa. We have the uh, Department of Security and Correctional Science Examination Coordinator, who is Dr. Philip Wabua. And we will be able to share with you their contacts and their email addresses so that you may be able to contact them whenever you have need. We also have the school um, coordinator for the virtual and open learning as well as blended learning and his name is Dr. Zav Saviu Ichani. We will be able as well to share with you his email number as well as telephone number. We have a postgraduate committee at the school level and also at the departmental level. And at the school level, the postgraduate committee is headed by Dr. Meresia Sirella. And at the Department of International Relations, Conflict and Security Studies, uh, the uh, departmental graduate committee is headed by Dr. Francis Mulu. At the school uh, uh, department of security and corrections department, the postgraduate chair uh, of the committee is Dr. Meresia Sirella. We'll also share with you their contacts so that you may be able to contact them. We also have a school registration committee that um, has the following persons. We have uh, Mr. George Oyobra. We have uh, Ms. Hannah Muthoni. 
We also have Ms. Rudu Wakapisi, and we will share with you their contacts. They will be very helpful as you register for your program and your units under the school. We also have a, a school a student advisory committee, and we have members in that committee as Dr. Xaviu Ichani, we have Dr. Lynette uh, Hamasi, and we have uh, Ms. Joyce Okemo. So we will be very um, detailed with the contacts as we shall share them and then you'll be able to contact all these officers whenever you have need. Other important information is on our location. The school offices are located at the directorate complex building. We have the dean's office on the first floor, wing B. We have the school examiner's uh, office uh, also on the first floor, wing B, room 127. We have the Department of International Relations, Conflict and Strategic Studies. The chair sits on the first floor, wing C, room 116. And then we have the Department of Security and Correctional Science. The chair sits on the second floor of the Directorate Complex building, wing B in room 217. You will also be able to obtain, uh, after this uh, address, the core contacts for the dean, the chairman, and the, uh, of the Department of Security and Correctional Science, as well as the Chairman of the Department of International Relations, Conflict and Strategic Studies. Do not hesitate to contact us or to write us an email or even to call us on the telephone whenever you have need and you like advice, kindly go ahead and write to us, kindly go ahead and call us and we will be ready to hear you and to address your challenge. We wish you uh, a very fruitful and rewarding journey as you embark on these academic pursuits and as you register your, your uh, courses under the School of Security, Diplomacy and Peace Studies. You are most welcome to the school. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.